Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I recently did a video on my everyday carry for my travel kit. I had a lot of questions about what I carry on a daily basis, so I wanted to give you guys a quick video on my everyday carry. Uh, this bag stays in my Jeep, um, it goes with me. I use it on a daily basis. You guys are more than welcome to give me some feedback. Uh, comment below on what you think about this everyday carry, what you think I should add, maybe some things I should take away. So just let me know. The bag itself is a Max Edition Gear Slinger, and I've had this bag for several years now, and it's been a good pack. It does what I need to do, and it's held up well. On the outside, I've got my morale patch here. Do no harm, do no harm. And I do keep a carabiner here on the handle, just because it's easier to hang the bag if I need to, or if I actually do need to use it as a carabiner, uh, I do keep a little bit of 550 cord in here. So uh, these things have a ton of uses, so I do keep one here. Opening up the bag here, the first compartment, Keep a couple of pads of right in the rain, notepads, if I need to take notes, write down some information. And then there's a pen. I also keep a thumb drive. It always seems that I need something or someone needs something from me. I keep pictures, uh, documents, training stuff on here. So um, I keep a thumb drive around. Keep an extra pair of EMT scissors around, trauma shears. These are always good to have around. They can, they can have many uses other than actually just cutting people's clothes off. So, ibuprofen, and I do keep some Benadryl around as well. Got a flashlight here. It's not the greatest flashlight, but it'll work in a pinch. I have a Smith & Wesson first responder knife here. You know it's the blunt edge. So when you go to cut someone's clothes off, if you need to, you can run it up and hopefully it won't cut them. The main reason why I do keep this knife around is for the window punch here in case I need to gain access to a patient. I do wear contacts, so for those of you that wear contacts as well, you know it's always nice to have an extra pair of glasses lying around. I keep this Ontario. Um, neck knife around because there are places that I cannot carry a concealed weapon so at least I can put this in my pocket or put it up under my shirt and at least have some protection for my family. This is a good little knife. I've been carrying it for a while as well. It's, it's been good. Extra magazine. This is a Glock 9mm, a uh, Glock 17. And here's where I keep the extra paracord, just in case I need to tie something down. Um, paracord has a ton of uses, so I keep a good bit of paracord around. First thing that pops out is a tourniquet. Now, this isn't my trauma kit. This is not the kit that I carry when I go to the range, guys. When I go to the range, I carry my hook and loop trauma kit that I sell on my website. It's the exact same kit. So this is not my trauma kit. This is just a kit that I have around uh, in my Jeep, in my vehicle, when I'm walking around. Uh, this is just that kind of kit. This isn't a full-blown trauma kit, but I do keep a tourniquet. Here's where I keep my concealed weapon when I'm carrying this bag. Um, I can carry a full-size 9mm. This is the Glock 17 here. I can carry it here. Also, there's a pouch on the back side, and it'll fit nicely here, so if I'm not going to be taking my backpack off and on, I can carry it right here because this gives it easy access for me to get to behind my back. I can get to it and it's there. Now let's dig out the first aid supplies. Like I said, this isn't my trauma kit. This is just an everyday first aid supplies that you might need. Two pair of gloves, these are size medium because that's what I wear. Get two triangle bandages, band aids, butterflies, and two bee stings. Roll of two inch tape. We've got five by nines, four by fours, 
two rolls of clean. And that's what I carry, guys. This is what I've, I'm carrying on a daily basis. I hope this video helps you never know when you'll be the first responder.